What's up? It's your girl Lightwear Goddess and Tara. Welcome back to my channel. I want to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing, liking videos, and commenting. I really appreciate it. So yesterday I posted the All Signs reading for all Zodiacs for who's coming towards you during the Mercury Retrograde. We're currently in Retrograde <coughs> and we will be in Mercury Retrograde until October 13th. But for some reason I skipped over Leo. I completely forgot about Leo so I'm sorry. So somebody might have completely completely forgot about you or you could have completely forgot about this person. But let's jump right in. Let's see who's coming towards you in the Mercury retrograde and what's that energy. Because we all know that the retrograde is a time when people come out of the goddamn woodworks. Father God, spiritual guides, ancient Esther's, ancient Esther's. I keep saying Esther. Somebody name could be Esther. Someone might have a grandma named Esther. Father God, spiritual guides, ancient ancestors, please come into this reading for my beautiful Leos. Please let this be a reading of love, light, blessings, and serenity, and keep out all negative, demonic, or dark energy. And so it is as a be a man. I'll say okay. <coughs> all right, let's get some oracles. All right, spirit. Who's coming towards my Leo for the Mercury retrograde? What's the energy? What's the overall energy? Who's coming towards my Leo in love during the Mercury retrograde? A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Someone could be an Aries. Cross watchers are welcome. So if you're a person on your mind is a Leo, then you could watch this video as well. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. This could be someone who you have a child with or someone who maybe, you know, I don't want to say it, but I am getting it. Um, this could be somebody that was abusive towards you, that made you feel very unsafe, whether it was mentally, physically, or emotionally. Back of the deck is don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo, you're coming out in your own reading. <clears throat> we also have have faith in your dreams and step out of your comfort zone. So some of you guys can be very focused. This is such a beautiful card. I'm really drawn. Someone can like the color purple. Someone can have purple here. But someone can be a Cancer or an Aries. So have faith in your dreams. Step out of your comfort zone. A fiery climax approaches. Someone might be coming in to argue with you. That Don't let pride get in your way. Maybe this um, situation with this person um, compromised your pride, your integrity, I'm hearing. And so maybe you're just focused on yourself and having faith in your dreams. I'm hearing work could have got in the way. All right, spirit. What's the energy of this person coming towards my Leo? The star coming towards Leo during the Mercury retrograde. Tell me about the connection with that person, spirit. It's electric. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, I'm getting like a family vibe. Somebody could have been very integrated in your family. Y'all could have gone to cookout. Someone watching this could be black. Y'all could do the electric slide. I'm seeing like a couple that was like very much, um, very much integrated family wise. Ace of Wands, back of deck energy. So someone's very passionate about you. Someone has a very sexual connection towards you. Someone wants a new start. We have the star, death, king of wands, ace of pentacles, and the moon. Let me clarify that. Clarify death. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Two of cups. So yeah, there was an end to a relationship here. This can be an ex. I'm getting somebody like an ex, not like a situationship. Somebody you were definitely in a relationship with. Ace of pentacles. Hey man, the moon. Yep. The star. Back of the deck is the four of swords. So this situation could have definitely, I'm getting a bad breakup. This could have caused for, and when I was shuffling, I was hearing cheated. You cheated on me though. This could definitely um, have sent you into healing or your person into healing. But, or they could want to heal the connection. So we have the star with the five of pentacles. So somebody definitely who you could have been very much in love with consider your star or they could have felt the same way about you. I'm hearing it was all good until it wasn't good no more. They left you out in the cold or now they feel left out in the cold. You could have turned your back on them or them on you. So yeah, there was definitely a death to a relationship and end to a two of cups. I'm hearing someone pull back their energy. Then we have the king of wands with the king of cups and the three of pentacles. Someone here could be in a same sex relationship, doesn't have to be. Or someone could have cheated. It could be a feminine that cheated on a masculine Leo, or this could be role reversal. So we have the three of pentacles with two kings. So there was definitely an other person. There was somebody could have cheated on somebody in a sexual energy. It was just lust with the king of wands. Very attractive, very um, chemistry-based connection. Although they were very much in love with someone in a full commitment with the king of cups. Because we have the three of pentacles, there was three people here. Now we have the ace of pentacles with the hangman. So someone was very confused about who to offer their pentacle to, who to give towards. Um, and then we have the moon with the ten of cups. So someone, Leo... Either you or your person could have cheated and 
um, on someone with you or with someone else. Um, take it how it resonates. And the moon was a secret that there was already a ton of pentacles. So somebody was not being honest that they were already in a connection. So now, Leo, I feel like this is you. You're very guarded to this person. You could have cut them out with this King of Swords energy. And that's why you're now in this Four of Swords energy of needing to heal. So what was the blockage in the connection? What was the blockage in the connection? Knight of Cups in the struggle position with the back of the deck of the Seven of um, I was going to say the seven of options, the seven of cups. So somebody had a lot of options. There was a lot of illusions. And with the knight of cups in the struggle position, someone was moving slow to give someone a full offer. Or I'm getting someone who was giving their love and pulling their love back. In the struggle position, it wasn't a full love offer. And even if it was, it wasn't full of commitment. Okay, so how do they feel about Leo? This person returning towards my Leo. How do they feel about my Leo? Oh, heartbreak. Third party energy. They feel like they broke your heart or you broke their heart. Leo, did you cheat on somebody? Somebody could be wanting to have a conversation with you from your past where things went sour, I'm hearing. How do they feel about Leo? I'm hearing but the greatest love of all, though. Okay, there's a feminine here who could have had two guys. There's a feminine who could have had two guys, no judgment. One of them could be coming back, wanting to talk. And I'm hearing it could be the one that you cheated on with. I don't know. I don't know. Queen of Pentacles was at the back of the deck. So they feel like you're very abundant. You're very successful. Maybe you have a lot of money. Maybe you're working on yourself. And maybe you've had some sort of glow up. How do they feel about Leo spirit? I'm getting for some of you guys, it was a marriage. Higher font when I said that. It was a marriage. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Yep. Okay, hold on. Let me just put this right here. Higher font. With the Behind that is the... Ten of Cups. So someone was in a marriage and a higher level of commitment and someone stepped out on that marriage with the King and King, Queen of Pentacles. You guys could have made money together, had children together, children together, had a business together. Someone stepped out. That King of Cups and that King of Wands could also be feminine energies as well. But given that it was a masculine, the masculine could have stepped out too and had someone that they were in love with you but had sex with. Mm, Knight of Wands in the struggle position. So this person um wants to rush in. They are very sexually attracted to you, but I feel like they're going back and forth between like coming in and out of your life because the Knight of Wands is not there to stay. <clears throat> How do they feel about my Leo? Um, a lot of obstacles. Once again, hangman, indecision, indecisive. A lot of obstacles, a lot of burden. But I always say with this um, Seven of Rods, this person is battling themselves. There's something internal going on with your person. Or they feel like maybe... You're very just blocking them up. Look at that person blocking. Like, you can't come towards me. I got all this stuff in front of me. How do they feel about my Leo? When it all, oh, 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 falls down. Yeah, something ended here. Oh, Ace of Cups, though. Lots of love for you. Overflowing love. But then again, they feel like you're all tied up in your head. Or this person's very much all tied up in their head. About you, Leo. So, what's their intention with my Leo during the retrograde? What's their truest intention in the heart space? This person that's coming back, what's their truest intention? I'm hearing overflow of communication. So, if you haven't talked to somebody, your phone might get blown up. This person could also be watching you from a fake page. Um, the sun. Okay. Back of the deck is three of cups. Yeah, this is third party energy. Look at the king of pentacles again. Yeah, there is third party energy here. We're going to look into that in a second. But this person wants to move towards karma waters with you. There's some type of divine judgment that's happened. This person could have rece received some sort of karma or learned some sort of karmic lesson. This person wants to drop the burden between you. But with this four of cups, I feel like they feel like you might not take their love offer. But they do see you as the sun. Now, I just want to look into that third party energy and see. Spirit, what's going on with this third party? What was, what was the storyline with this third person? What was the story with the third person spirit in this connection with Leo and the person that's returning during the retrograde? Toxic. Look it. King of Wands and Knight of Wands peeking out. This person, what a, Queen of Cups is still showing herself though. So your person was in a sexual connection. It was all sex. It was toxic. Could have been very obsessive. Knight of Wands, they went in and out just, just for sex. Tell me more about this third party connection. Ooh. Ooh. Six of Cups. This could have been somebody from their past, someone from their childhood that was a lover, and they were giving to them. They were giving to them. 
and maybe this person if you are in a relationship with them you intu intuitively intuitively started to feel like they were pulling back from you it's because they were given to someone else tell me more about that third party connection spirit what's going on with that third party connection not a swords they rushed into this person. They saw them as an empress. They could have had a baby on somebody. They saw them as very attractive, could be masculine or feminine, but <clears throat> they rushed in and they made an impulsive decision. All right, Spirit, so are they still dealing with this third party? Is this person coming to Leo? Are they still dealing with this third party? Are they still dealing with them? I'm hearing this love was taking all of my energy. Are they still dealing with this third party, Spirit? Oops. Nine of Cups. With the lovers, they could be in a relationship with this person. Are they still dealing with this? Yo, an ex could be coming back who left you for someone else. They could just be wanting to talk to you, see what's up with you. They could still be in love with you, but be with someone else. Lord Jesus. Are they still dealing with this third party spirit? Are they still dealing with this third party? <coughs> mm. Ten of cups. They could be in a full-blown relationship with this person. For some of you guys, they could have had kids with them. Page of Pentacles, they're still communicating with them. But there's a lot of obstacles and they're very guarded towards them. I need more information on that. Some more clarity on that. Are they still dealing with this third party? Are they with them or are they not with them? Backstab, betrayal. To four of wands, yes, yeah, somebody, you could have been married to somebody and they backstabbed you or now they could be with somebody and wanted to come back towards you. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, coming in with some type of apology, some type of communication, but slowly, yeah, they're trying to find the strength to talk to you. Very toxic though, toxic. I'm hearing serial cheater, temperance. Yeah, somebody turned their back on something. All right, spirit. So what do they want with Leo? Queen of Cups. Yo, this person, Queen of Cups, it's like they want you back, but they're already with somebody. Maybe there's a lot of issues going on over there. You know what I'm saying? But now they want you back, but they're already with somebody. They want to start over with you. What the fuck? What do they want with my Leo? True. What do they want with my Leo? I don't like that. I don't like that. People need to figure out what the hell they want. How you going to cheat on somebody and they want to come back to them? Maybe they got with this person thinking it was going to be everything was going to be great. But then they're like, damn, I should have stayed with my fucking Leo. Mm. They definitely want sex. Very passionate. But then they see you as a wish fulfillment too. But they feel like over time y'all can hear the connection. They want They're like thinking about you. Damn, maybe I could go back to Leo and we could start over. I'm hearing it just, it wasn't good over there. I'm going to stop right there because that's just getting confusing. Give me some more messages, Spirit, about who's coming towards my Leo during the retrograde. I don't like that. That is very annoying. You know, why can't people ever just decide clearly what they want? You can't be out here having more than one person unless you're a polygamist. Go be a Mormon. Shit. Like, how you want two wives? I feel, I'm hearing this person feels like every, they get, they, they, they get certain things from this person, but what they don't get, they find in you. Okay, spirit might want some of y'all to say no to this person when they come back. Because they might be on some bullshit. Begin to explore in reverse. Yeah, they don't want you to explore another connection. But they now they want now they want to take the lead. Now they want to take the lead. And they want you to let go and enjoy. This person could just be wanting to have sex. Like, um, what else, spirit, for my Leos? Oh, they want you to be open to their love because the feminine's fading away. And they've been doing things in moderation. Oh, da da da. Let's work this out over time. Da, 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 da. You know I love you. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry. What's coming on? What's going on with my Leo? With this person returning during the retrograde. Wedding in reverse. Okay. Somebody could be wanting to leave that someone they're married to or they stepped out on a marriage because wedding is in reverse. So someone could be wanting to divorce somebody and be wanting to come back to you or you could have been married to someone and they stepped out on the connection. What else with my Leo? The fuck? What the fuck? I'm not liking that. 
Ooh, shit. Soulmate. This could be a soulmate. Someone you feel very connected to. Pay attention to the red flags, though, Spirit is saying. Pay attention to the red flags. You know, a, a, a dog don't never really change. They just, uh, what they say, uh, they, they get new fleas on, you know? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person could have a sexual addiction. They could like to have multiple partners, but they feel like you deserve love. They want to give towards you. It's like, they want you, but they want to do them. They want, they want somebody else, but it's like, you a good person. You a good man. You a good woman. And now they want you back. Um, let your friends help you. So this person could be talking to their friends about the situation. Or you could have very much been like talking to your friends about what to do. Trust. This person wants you to trust them. But then free yourself in reverse. This person does not want to free themselves from you. They feel binded to you, I'm hearing. All right. Let's get some messages. Yeah, they never want you to leave. Mm. I'm coming soon. All right, spirit. What does this person want to say to my Leo who's coming back to the Mercury retrograde? Shit. I miss you. Yeah, they miss you. You pulled back your energy. Now they, now they want you. But they scared to reach out. But they going to do it. They think you're very funny. You have a great personality. But I'm fake. See? Listen. The one that got away. See, they feel like you're the one that got away. They got with somebody and they realized that the grass was not that motherfucking green over there. And now they want you back. Um, they fit my life better slash clout. clout. So this person could have got with somebody that they thought was the motherfucking top of the shop, the best thing on a goddamn market. And they felt like they was a better match for them. This person could have been very sexually attractive. Now they want to take you on a trip. This person could want to have a little sneaky link trink on, uh, trip with you. Rumors. A lot of rumors in this connection. A lot of gossip. What, what did I say? Sneaky link. This person wants a sneaky link with you. Leo. Leo. We also have Libra, but we in Libra season. So, yes, yeah, Spirit is saying this person is coming back. Yep, this person's coming back. Marriage. Marriage is heavy here. Somebody was married or someone is married. They want to work on it. That's some fucking shit. I don't like that. Someone could be a cancer. Can we start over? All right. All right. All right, buddy. All right, let's get some masculine. Um, let, me, let me get some from a third party deck. What, let's see the energy of what was going on with that third party connection that they were so happy to rush to. What's the energy with the third party spirit? What was the energy with the third party? Gaslighting. So somebody here, didn't I say creating fake pages to stalk you? This person is creating fake pages to stalk you. The karmic is pregnant. Someone could have got pregnant and they felt the need to be in a relationship with them. But this person could have been gaslighting you. Okay, um, you know, very manipulative, narcissistic, self-serving energy, lying to you, lying to the third party. But it was good in the beginning between you and them. But I'm hearing that it, it, it was good in the beginning with the um third party. There was everything on a platter. Using a child to manipulate, that's what the karmic or the third party is doing. They're using a child to manipulate the situation. I feel like this person at some point, I'm defeated. They wanted to cut off the situation, but then this person could have had a baby on them. Oh my God, Jesus Lord. And they fake it for public. They not happy over there. Mm -mm. They not happy. They not happy at all. Dark magic. Okay, protect your energy and protect your spirit. Someone could just be, um, give me a, a sign. Is it okay for me to return? Yep, yeah, they, they, they know you don't fuck with them, but they want you back. Someone could have been just sending negative energy. Now, dark magic isn't always somebody sitting down doing spells because a lot of people don't even know how to do that shit. But just know spirit says you are protected and to cover yourself and keep yourself in prayer. So that's a negative situation. Whoever they're fucking with is low vibrational, okay? And this person knows about you. Why her? Why him? Why do you, why do you want Leo? Everything has been bad since you left in Gold Digger. Somebody was fucking with somebody for their bag. Shit. Men are so stupid sometimes. I can't. Let's get some Divine Masculine con uh, Confession. I want to understand you. Okay. I guess. What they saying? What's going on with my wheels for the retrograde? Could be masculine or feminine. Take it how it motherfucking resonates. Okay. Your energy heals me. I need more of it. More of it. This person's an energy vampire. They're coming back because of that. I found God. Thanks, babe. Okay, so you're very spiritual. I'm getting Leo. And this person is like going through a dark night of the soul. And they just want your positive energy because whoever they're with is in a dark energy with that dark magic. Okay, they want you back. I want that old thing back. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, they're pleasing themselves to your photos. But they've been avoiding you because they've been avoiding that conversation of, you know, they don't want to hear... 
you tell them about themselves. So they're going to come give you a love offer. I wish I would have opened up to you. I was raised to hold it all in. So this person could have been raised in a very, um, I'm hearing low vibrational household, a lot of childhood trauma. So they're going to come with that shit like, you know, my past, my past. Okay. Um, please don't get with someone else the audacity. So this person knows they don't even have the goddamn audacity to not want you to be with someone else, but they don't want you to. My girl knows I love you. What I can't make this shit up. The third, and they're going to say, I'm no longer low vibrational, low vibrational energy in reverse. What spell did you put on me? I'm hooked. So there's something about spell work here. Okay, something about somebody, this person thinks you did a spell on them. Why can't I leave you alone? Or the person they're with, they don't want to be with them. Why can't they leave them alone? I don't know. Something's telling me to just look into um, my divine feminine. But how y'all feel about this? Could be masculine. So how you feel about this person, Leo? How you feel about this person, Leo? I'm hearing, I don't got nothing to say to that motherfucker. Okay. I know what you did. Yep, you know everything. I'm hearing some of y'all got downloads. Some of y'all had a dream. Let's just co-parent. Listen, this could be somebody you have kids with who got with someone else, had a baby on you. There's something about marriage and children here. Take it how it resonates. You just like, let's just co-parent. Let's just co-parent. I should have cheated too. So this person could have been cheating on you a lot. Okay. Look it. I should have cheated too again. You like, I, I should have just did, I should have done my thing. It's too little too late, you're saying. I moved on. I'm happy. And I feel rejected. Yeah, this person made you feel very rejected. Maybe you're moving on. You've already moved on. And that could be why people are coming back. Because you know when you move on and you pull back that energy, especially if you're a spiritual, you're a divine feminine, divine masculine, dumb motherfuckers, succubus, they're going to come back. Oh, wanting that energy, especially if they got with someone low vibrational. We call that karma. Okay, give me some advice for my Leos for when this person returns spirit. I say leave their ass in a motherfucking gutter. Okay. You're giving your power away. You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. So Spirit wants you to remain in this energy of loving yourself and going after what you want. The scragglers is going to come back. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. I can't. And put the fucking phone down. Don't say nothing to this person. They ain't changed. They just see you doing you. That's a clear message. All right, Leo. So that's what it is. If it resonated, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll certainly be coming back for more. Protect your energy. Get some sage. Um, some spiritual bats. I don't know why I feel commended to say this. Because there's something with dark magic here. Someone sending you negative energy. Trying to block your message. Trying to block your messages. I don't know where that came from. Trying to block your blessings. So you can do. Um, you could do Epsom salt. With some rose quartz infused oil. Um, lavender oil. Um, um, sage. Burn sage. And get you some Florida water. And what I want you to do is I want you to get some white candles, put them near your bathtub or your shower, light the candles, put the Epsom salt in your bath, maybe with some rose petals, okay, play some peaceful meditation music. And I want you to take a shower, and I want you to do this for three days straight, it's the best time is to do it on the new moon, okay, three days straight, okay, and every single night you're going to do this. Okay, and when you do this, get in the shower. I want you to pray and protect um, and ask that when the water is coming over your body, spirit says stay in the bath for no more than 30 minutes. So really get in there and really, um, you know, cleanse yourself to remove this negative energy that somebody has been trying to send towards you. If somebody's been having car trouble, somebody been trying to fuck with you being able to go places, someone's trying to fuck with your money, especially if you have a kid with this person. All right, guys, so protect your energy. Don't be afraid. You are light. You are love. But this person ain't shit from what I can hear. All right, have a great day.